Hey guys, welcome to Get It Done with Gabby. Today we are going to start spring cleaning, organization, decluttering, all that jazz. And we're going to start with my closet. I have not gone through this in a hot minute. I don't remember when the last time I did it was. At least it's been since I was pregnant. So at least seven ish months, like probably longer than that. But it's time to go through and rotate things. Now, normally, I would be on the whole like train of only keep stuff that fits you now. However, if you were in the process of being pregnant and then not being pregnant, there's a lot, a lot of fluctuation that happens in there. And um, if I'm being honest, we're probably gonna try and have another kid. So I don't necessarily want to get rid of things that don't fit me right now because the way my closet is kind of set up is I have what I would call my average, normal, not trying body. I would call it my transition body. Then I have my super in shape, skinny legend body. And then I have my big old pregnant lady body. There are three very vast <laughs> categories of clothes that I have. And uh, I'm not re ready to get rid of any one of those categories yet. Currently, I am in transition body. We are working towards skinny legend body because uh, I have a wedding coming up towards the end of the year. So I would like to be ripped for said wedding. So we're working on that. So we are in transition clothes. So I guess I should probably go through everything and pull all of my like big old pregnant lady clothes and pack those away. So yeah, I'm not sure how much decluttering is actually gonna happen with my clothes, but uh, let's just, we just gotta start and find out. Oh, also, we're officially, officially starting the transition to velvet hangers, baby. I have had chaotic, crazy colored plastic hangers forever and I'm ready to transition to all matching hangers, like the full grown adult that I am. So I got two boxes of these, which is 100 hangers, which I think is only about half as many hangers as we need, but I'm gonna get started. We're gonna start working on it because I'm not sure I want to put my pants on these. I think I wanna source pants hangers. So if you guys have pants hangers that you legit like, let me know, cause I need some. But anyway, I think we are gonna put shirts on these and see what we have left over after that. I think I'm gonna start, oh, I forgot. I have a buddy today. Miss Penny is with me. She just had her six month checkup yesterday. She got some shots, so she's not feeling super great right now. She also has a cold, so bad combo of things. But she's attached to me because she's super, super needy, and if I put her down, she freaks out. But she's totally happy being on my back. So, we have a mooshk today. <laughs> See, she's just totally happy just looking around. At everything okay I think I'm gonna start on my side of the closet and just pull all of my shirts out and then go one by one and if I'm keeping it out then it's going on one of these hangers that seems like a good call Okay, we officially have the mound of my shirts out. So let's go one by one and decide if they're worthy of a new hanger. Ah, I should open this first. Oh my gosh, if you guys have a Costco membership, they've got a banging deal on hangers right now. The reason I've taken so long to buy new hangers is because Buying 200 hangers is not a cheap feat. However, you can get this box of like 50 hangers from Costco for 10 bucks right now. They're like super on sale. So uh, hopefully they're legit. Oh, they look so nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just one random one. That's weird. So random. 
There's a single extra hanger in there. I have 51 hangers in this box. What? We're gonna, that's weird. I wonder if the other box is like that too, or if there's just like a weird random extra hanger in this one. I swear I counted right. I don't know. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Okay, first round of clothes have been transferred. I have discovered that I have a few piles going on. I have like a, like a donate pile, which only has like three shirts in it. Then I have a maternity pile, which has three shirts, a, I don't even know if it's, it would fit me now, but it's a shirt that I won't wear now because it's one of those like crotch snap t-shirts and I'm breastfeeding so that just simply won't work. I'm not having a shirt that I can't, you know, have access to. So that one's going in the not for now pile. And then I think what I'm going to do with all of my oversized t-shirts is make like a pajama box situation. We have this storage thing over here and some of the containers are pretty empty, so I'm thinking I'm gonna make a little like summer PJ container. And I think I'm gonna put all my oversized tees in there because I'm not wearing them right now because they look crazy on me when I'm not pregnant. Like they're, they're not cute oversized, they're like extreme oversized. <laughs> they're like oversized for a pregnant person. So anyway, I personally only feel comfortable wearing them as sleep shirts, so they don't really need to be hung in the closet. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking. But let's get these clothes back in the closet. They could do for a little organization when I put them back in because if I'm being honest, after I do my laundry, I take all the empty hangers, put all the clean clothes on the hangers and then just shove them in the front. Like I'm not sorting them. I should, but I'm not. So I'm gonna sort them now and see if I can uh, maintain that organization. If I'm being honest, I'm already over this. <laughs> Did I mention I'm sick? I don't think I told you guys that. Parker caught a cold, so I caught a cold, and then Penny caught a cold. We're not doing great. <laughs> We're gonna do Matt's side, and if I'm being honest, it's my side too. <laughs> I put all my bulky sweatshirt, or my bulky like coat, sweaters, and oversized t-shirts on his side, because they wouldn't fit on mine, but I think they'll totally fit back on my side now. Well, and I'm not even putting my oversized t-shirts in the closet, I don't think, unless I have extra hangers. We'll decide at the end. Anyway, let's take all his stuff out. Thank you. 
Okay, so I have a few left from the original package, but I'm gonna open the next one too. Since we went obvious, oh my goodness. The velvet fuzz is everywhere. <gasps> I did not consider that. I wonder if they'll stop doing that. That's like really fuzzy. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that's gonna get all over my clothes. It probably is. Okay, well. Okay, this must just be the way they give you one extra hanger. I don't know, is it like a bonus hanger? I don't get it. <laughs> Why is there just one extra one? Does it make you feel like you got some sort of smoking deal? Oh, there's only 24 here. Okay. So maybe it's not an extra one. Hmm. Why would they package it that way? Yeah, there's 25 in this pile. But there's only 24 in this one. Yeah. So it's not a bonus hanger. But why would they package 25 in one bag, 24 in the other, and then one singular? <laughs> I'm so confused. Whatever. Okay. It's fine. I don't need to understand. Oh my god, there's so much velvet fuzz. I think I'm rubbing it into my eyes. Whoops. Let me do it again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how long has she been asleep for? <laughs> I just like glanced in the camera in the viewfinder and saw she was like slumped like this and I was like, did she fall asleep? <laughs> you get very comfy in the pouch, huh? She loves the pouch. Okay, well, I'm gonna try and, oh God, where am I gonna put her? Do you lay on the floor? <coughs> oh, I know. Go lay her on the floor. <laughs> Okay, well, I think I have enough hangers for pants. Oh, thank you, girl. Yeah, you're so sweet. Are you my little decluttering helper? Hi, you. <laughs> okay, on to pants. Okay, that's it for right now. I have a major headache, so I'm gonna take a break. Um, well, before I go to bed tonight, I have to clean up the hangers. <laughs> that's right, Penny. It's a disaster. <laughs> okay, I will be back soon. Okay, I am back many hours later. It is after dinner, Matt is done working, he's hanging out with the girls, so I'm going to try to <laughs> contain the explosion. Um, oh, this is how many hangers we were left with. We've got 11 hangers, which I haven't done laundry. Tomorrow's laundry day, so I will definitely use these up. I might have to make a couple adjustments in the closet, but it actually looks so nice. 
I've never had like uniform hangers before. Like it looks so nice. I'm so happy. Okay, let's uh, clean up and then I will show you guys the closet. Okay, the hangers have been organized. I put them in my daughter's closet because it's just kind of our storage zone. Um, okay, this is the donate stuff. So, got this giant bag. Gotta shove it in there. I've got a bunch of donate stuff in the other closet too, so I need to get that all organized at some point. This is just garbage. That's a really old gross shirt <laughs> okay. oh sniffle this is not donate this is just christmas pjs i didn't know what to do with okay maybe i'm gonna fold these and store these and then hang these i don't know Ooh, big brain idea they can go in the other closet because I have all of our like dress stuff in the other closet. We don't need these right now. Genius. Okay, back to organization. We've got, let's deal with these belts at some point. We have, <laughs> this is so cute. This is like a dad shirt, but it has a pouch for your baby. <laughs> you just pouch your baby. It's so cute, it's a pouch shirt. Anyway, this is gonna go into maternity because Penny is too big to fit in the pouch now. Okay, these are all maternity. Okay, these are all of my PJs, like oversized shirt things. There we go. Oh, I just realized my maternity box is under the bed in a really annoying spot. Frick. Let's see. I don't even know if I can get it out. I can't really show you, but I got the edge of it up so I can like shove this stuff in. Whew, that was lucky. Okay, what are we gonna do with all the belts? Belts on belts on belts. Ooh, actually, <laughs> found the perfect spot. Check it. I've got this little hanger thing right here, which this doesn't belong here. So that can go out there. This can go out. And these can all go on one. That we don't need in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Honestly, we probably don't even need. There we go. Belts. Done. Oh, the lighting is bad. We're losing light. It's like 7 p.m. The very last thing I want to do is strip all the bedding because all that velvet dust got over all over everything. So I'm going to do that real quick, pull everything off and get it in the wash, and then we'll be good to go. I'm super excited. This closet, for like so little effort, for literally only swapping out the hangers, it looks awesome. Love it.
so helpful. our children. <laughs> You're gonna fall off the bed, dude. <laughs> how, I, how are you put on me? <laughs> oh, Pat I likes that. Love seeing you have fun. Okay, ready, set, go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. You almost launched yourself into the wall, monkey. Good dog. <laughs> wow! All for Penny's amusement. <laughs> All right, we're done for the day. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just realized I never actually showed you guys like a legit after of the closet. <laughs> oh, my brain is so mushy. Okay, so here is the after of like swapping the hangers out. I'm super excited. It's such like a, it's such a small, subtle change, but it makes a big difference. Like as far as like space is concerned, especially since Matt and I are sharing this like very, very small closet right now. Um, we do have some of our like relatively unused items in a different closet, like all our dress clothes and stuff are somewhere else. But this is pretty much all the hanging stuff that we have. Things were a little cramped before, but now they fit really nice because we have those like low profile velvet hangers. I know I was a little bit concerned about the fuzziness of them before, but I haven't really noticed the fuzz on anything. So maybe it was just like initially opening them, they kind of puffed everywhere. But yeah, I'm super, super pleased with how things turned out. The rest of the closet could do for a little bit of a declutter organization situation, but for now, this is good. This works for me. <laughs> but anyway, that is all I have for you guys this week. Thank you for hanging out for a more uh, chill adventure this week. <laughs> I did not have a lot of go get em sort of an attitude going on, but I will say very soon there will be another garage video. Matt motivated me to get back out there this weekend because it was like absolutely gorgeous outside. So we got another big chunk of the garage organized. So I will be sharing that with you guys very soon. Anyway, that is all I have for this week. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.